friends, I am Shalini Taylor, Assistant Professor in Biyani Group of Colleges, Jaipur. Welcomes you all again to GuruKPO.com. Today, I am going to deliver my video lecture on the topic named Introduction to Animal Cell Culture. In my previous topic, I have delivered the uh, lecture on the terminology. So, we are moving on to the next terms which are being used for, for this particular topic. We have discussed about the types of cultures which included first was the primary cell culture, and second was the secondary cell culture. Previously, we have discussed about the primary cell culture and the secondary cell culture. This categorization of the culture was based on the source taken right now comes the next type of culture which which includes first is organ culture histotypic culture and organotypic culture This particular characterization of the types of culture is based on the part of organ from the body of the source taken. So, this particular characterization is based on the type of the organ or the cell which is taken from the body of the source, right. So, first we will discuss about the organ culture. Organ culture means to develop the culture of a specific kind of organ in the in vitro condition but that is we are providing the artificial conditions outside the body in the laboratory and we are developing a specific kind of organ which have the ability to retain the physiology con the physiological conditions which the specific organ resist uh, sorry retains itself when it is fine present inside the body right so organ culture here means development of any specific organ which is having the ability to retain its in vivo properties. Next comes the histotypic culture. As the name suggests, histo means tissue, right? So, here the formation of tissue culture which retains, which retains the three dimensional pattern of a specific cell type, right. So, we find the difference between the histotypic culture and the organ culture is that this particular type of culture have the ability to form the specific three dimensional pattern which we find in vivo conditions also, right. But what is the meaning of organotypic culture here? Organotypic culture is there occurs interaction between the different cell types, interaction between the different cell types to form a complex organ system, right. So, when we perform two different cell types, uh, when whenever we perform any histotypic culture t containing different cell types and these two histotypic cultures interact between themselves, they gives rise to a specific kind of organotypic culture, right? Now comes the next categorization of the type of culture is, first is the mono layer culture. And second is <coughs> suspension culture. Monolayer culture here is also known as adherent culture. 
right so this particular characterization is based on the capacity of the cells to form anchorage on the substratum provided or also you can say that this particular characterization of the culture is based upon the type of media provided type of media provided or the ability to form anchorage or adherence with the substratum right so monolayer culture or the adherent culture it is very much understood from the name itself that these particular cells have the ability to form attachment with the substratum being provided and the suspension culture here the cells so obtained or formed do not attach themselves the cells do not attach to the substratum hence they are found uh, in the liquid media especially for the growth of the suspension culture we have to provide the media which is liquid in nature and for the purpose of monolayer culture we have to provide them the media which is solidified in nature so this is the variation between the monolayer and the suspension culture next in the previous lecture we have discussed about what is primary cell culture and what is secondary cell culture the primary cell culture will be obtained whenever we take the explant directly from the source by providing it the artificial conditions as well as the media for its growth now when the primary cell cultures formed they are when subcultured gives rise to the secondary culture right so the primary cell culture when subcultured gives rise to the secondary cell culture this secondary cell culture so formed gives rise to a specific cell line or you can say a specific kind of cell lineage right so on the basis of cell line on the basis of mortality on the basis of mortality cell lines are further divided into two categories which we have already discussed into the previous lecture first is the finite or the normal cell lines and second is the infinite or the transformed cell lines right we have discussed infinite or the transformed cell lines those who have undergone immortality means they lose the power of dying they do not undergo senescence whereas the finite cell lines or the normal cell lines they undergo senescence that is they are mortal in nature after 80 generations of the cell division they will undergo mortality or the senescence right so these were the simple uh, terminologies which we use here now we we'll discuss about the not types the significance or the applications of animal cell culture since we have understood the basic terminologies of the animal cell culture now it is very important to discuss what are the basic applications for which we have to study this particular subject or topic first or the very primitive kind of application is we find it is important 
because we get to know about the basic physiology or the model system right we can perform different types of experiments when we have the model systems and for getting the model system we can utilize the different techniques of animal cell culture to develop the artificial model systems which retains the ability in vitro which are present in vivo also second to determine the effect of various drugs or toxins on the cells or the body parts whatever kind of drug or the uh, toxins which we are discovering day, day to day we can also test them on the model system by, by the help of animal cell culture what will be their effect if whether it will be beneficial for the cell or the human body or the animal or not next we can study about mutagenesis or different types of carcinogenic effects since we are talking about the tumorous cell lines that is the transform cell lines we get to know about if there any if there is any kind of drug which is responsible for forming the mutation into the cell or the body or there are drugs which are responsible for causing cancer next we can form various by products or simply you can say the biopharmaceuticals biopharmaceuticals they can be any antibiotic they can be any antibody it can be any kind of vaccine or it can be any kind of detoxic uh, uh, substance like right which is beneficial to human welfare and last but not the least to study the molecular and biochemical effects we can study different biochemical effects and the molecular uh, effects on the cell of different types of drugs or toxins which, which whichever is given to the cell or the body so these are the some basic applications for which we start to study about the animal cell culture hope you like the video thank you so much uh, please like share and subscribe my video and do comment on it thank you so much